Hello, and welcome to another lock installation video. Today, I'm about to be installing an entry lock for the garage door area. What you see here is a lever lock called Commonwealth, which is basically Quickset's addition to the Schlage Flare. Now here's the front of the lock when it's placed on the right side of the door. In its original result, not only the handle, but the key cylinder too is upside down. Most average consumers think it is fine. However, reversing levers make a big difference. And if that weren't enough, there is a simple way to flip the key cylinder. First, use the Allen key to remove the front handle. Once finished, you may discover a small U-shaped clip holding the key cylinder in place. If you want to flip the key cylinder, you will use a flathead screwdriver and find the side that is easy for you to pull the clip off slightly. Then, use either your fingers or tweezers to pull out the clip entirely. Place it somewhere where you don't lose it. Now, eject a key cylinder. And flip it by 180 degrees. Place it back in. In addition with the clip, so that way the key cylinder would not fall off again. It's a bit of a surgery but you will soon be impressed by this brand new result. Now, use the opposite handle to pop inside the lock and use the Allen key to tighten it in place. Now, I already explained other steps for installing the lock in my previous lock installation video featuring the Austin, linked down to the description below. However, with this Commonwealth, there are some differences, which I'll explain after this commercial break. At TMP Cyberlink Studios, possibilities are endless. With inspiration from up to 50 different companies slash franchises, we make speculations of intriguing slash family-friendly dreams, hopefully to come to reality in the near future. Please help support our channel by giving a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, and check out our community tab to experience destination nostalgia like never before. Welcome back. As you can see here, this lock is almost done with the installation. It's a matter of putting final touches. Some locks may have loose designer rose plates. For these kind of locks, snap it in. These will hide the screws for extra security. The rest is self-explanatory.
And now to rekeying the lock. Use the key that currently functions this particular lock. Stick it into the hole and turn 90 degrees to the right. Then you use your special smart key clip to push into the tiny hole shown here. Remove the existing key. And finally, insert a new key and twist it all the way to the left. Now, if you still want to keep the key cylinder upside down, don't worry. Follow the same directions, but in reverse of the key operation. If you have any questions or concerns, please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for your attention and watching this video, and we'll see you next time.